Hello and thank you for watching. Um, this is a how-to video. I've not done a how-to video for a while. I've been doing a lot of the Hunger Games builds, um, so I thought I'd take a bit of a break um, and do um, a how-to video. Um, this how-to video will show you how you can remove a folder or a file, a stubborn folder or a file. Um, for whatever reason, the computer will not let you delete it. I've had this problem myself uh, once on this machine here. The, uh, this is my Win7 machine and once on my XP machine. Um, where a folder basically, if you try and delete it or rename it, it the computer says that the um, the path could not be found. Basically, the specified path could not be found, so you can't delete it, you can't remove it, you can't do anything with it. So it's stuck on, it's stuck wherever it is, and you can't actually change it, you can't alter it, and you can't delete it. So basically, I'm going to show you um, a quite. It's not, I wouldn't say that simple, but it's a simplish way of doing it. Um, it's quite, pretty straightforward. Um, as long as you follow um, what I show you step by step, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Okay, so um, obviously I haven't got any problem folders at the moment, and they're quite difficult to create. Um, basically, they get created um, through all kinds of different reasons. Um, usually reasons like um, there's an unknown character in the title of the, um, in the, title of the folder. So basically Windows can't recognise it. Um, and it basically says, well, I, can't, I don't know, it's not located where you're saying it is, even though it's right there and you can see it. Windows says it can't locate it. So basically, it becomes unusable, un unchangeable. You can't do anything with it. So I'm going to show you how you can get rid of these files and folders that really, really are stubborn to get rid of. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll create a folder anyway. Obviously, this won't be an unremovable folder, but we need a folder to play with. So let's we'll get a folder here and we'll call this one the problem folder. Okay, so we've got a folder here. Just imagine that basically I can't do anything with this. If I try to rename it, um, it says nope, that can't find the specified path. Um, if you try to delete it, it says nope, can't find the specified path. Don't, it just doesn't recognize that the folder's there. First thing you need to do, if there's anything inside the folder, because even it's bizarre, but even though the folder is not recognized, the address is not recognized by Windows, you can if there's something inside it, you can actually open the folder and see everything inside it. The best thing to do is get everything inside, cut it, and get, get it out of the folder. So remove everything out of that folder. Okay, you should be able to do that. There should be nothing stopping you doing that. Okay, so once you've emptied the folder out, so basically you're just left with a base folder with nothing in it that basically can't be removed. What we first need to do is we need to open a command prompt. Um, to open a command prompt, um, like I say, I'm on the Windows 7 machine here. If you use the XP machine, you'll have to use the run command. Um, but basically, you just CMD. Um, and you've got a command prompt here. Best thing to do, right click on it and run as administrator. Always run, if you're going to use command for anything like this, always best to try and run it as administrator. Okay, so we've got a command prompt open. We know it's an administrator command prompt because it says administrator at the top. And we've got our problem folder. So we need to get rid of this folder. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to change the directory of where Windows is looking here. Because at the minute it's just looking in Windows System 32, which is not the right area. Because this folder is not located there, it's located on the desktop. If this was located in Win, uh, in my documents or in another folder, you would need to tell Windows to look in there. So basically, this is how you tell Windows to look in that folder. So I want it to look in desktop. Okay, so I you need to press CD for change directory because you're telling Windows I want to change the directory from Windows System 32 to this new one. Okay, so my desktop is um, at users um, bachelor CG1. Uh, your your obviously your um. Your desktop will be users, your, whatever your username is, and then desktop, if it was on the desktop, and so on and so forth. You can easily find out um, where a, a file is located by just, if you open up a file, and click on there. If it's Windows 7, if it's XP, it should show this anyway. But if you just open up the file, it'll actually show the address of exactly where it is. But we don't want the actual folder itself. We don't want the, to change directly to the folder. We just want to where the folder is actually situated, which is in the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to change that to desktop. So as you can see, once you press enter, it's no longer looking in Windows System 32. It's now looking in Users CG1 Desktop. So it's actually looking on the desktop for what we want. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is tell Windows to list, because there's, there's something very important that we're after. We're after the 8.3 name. Um, and I'll explain what the 8.3 name is. Well, I won't explain the name. I'll show you exactly what the 8.3 name is. But that's the thing that we really want. Okay, so... We need to tell Windows to look for everything on the desktop, just list everything on the desktop and tell us all the information about everything that's on the desktop. So what you need to do is you type in dir for directory, um, and try, try to think off the top of my head, it's dir, and then we want to do um, forward slash a, space, forward slash x, space, 
forward, uh, forward slash p. Okay. Um, I think the, the A's uh, basically displays the contents of the folder, um, including any hidden files, and the X part um, basically tells tells the computer that we want the 8.3 names as well. Okay. So we've done that. So it's dirt space forward slash a forward slash uh, sorry space forward slash x space forward slash p press enter and you get this list up it'll say press key to continue just so it can finish a list okay so if we look along the list there basically we're looking for this we're looking for this folder this problem folder um and we can see it there okay so we can see problem folder this is the folder that we're looking for you can see all the folders on the desktop as well like photoshop projects system files system files is there photoshop projects is there and so on and so forth. So you can see all these, but the thing we're really after is this. This is the 8.3 name, basically. Okay, and we need this because this will actually allow us to delete the folder. Okay, and I'll show you exactly how you can do that now. Okay, so once we've got the 8.3 name, I would also suggest as well be very, very sure this is the folder that you want to delete because it will, it will delete it. It'll give you an option. It'll say yes or no. Once you've said yes, bang, it's gone. It doesn't go into your recycle bin. It's gone you won't be able to recover it okay so this is this is how you're going to how are you going to do delete okay so what you need to do is we know that that's the 8.3 na name there the PROBLE tilde one okay they, they should all have a tilde after them so you can recognize the 8.3 names so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, so we want to delete it so it's because it's a folder if it's a file in fact I'll show you if it's a file that you want to get rid of um, it's, a, it's a little bit different. Basically, you'll type in delete, and then you'll type in, say, if, if this was a file, which it's not, so it won't it won't work. But if it's a file, you type delete or uh, del space, then you put the 8.3 name in, and then press enter. But because it's not a file, it wouldn't work. If you want to move a folder, which this is obviously a folder, it's a little bit different. You need to type in rd because we're removing a directory. Um, forward slash s okay and then we need to type in the um, 8.3 name okay so it's p o r b l e tilde one okay you'll find the tilde on your keypad it should be near the enter button it's usually um, there with the hash key so it's, it's usually shift and then the hash key and it should be a tilde so once we've got that we press enter and it'll say are you sure yes or no so this is giving you the last opportunity to say are you sure that is the fold that you want to get rid of Click yes, well, at Y for yes, press enter, bang, it's gone. And that will get rid of anything, anything that's stubborn and won't delete off your folder, uh, sorry, off your system, off, your, off any directory, it, it will delete that folder. Like I said before, you need to remove everything out of it first, get everything out that you need out of it, because um, those files shouldn't be a problem. It's just the actual file, the main file itself, but that's how you do it. It's really quick, it's quite simple. Um, but if you follow the tutorial step by step, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. It should be straightforward. You should no issues whatsoever with it. Um, yeah. So I wanted to show you how that was done. Um, so if you've got anything like that, any problem files or folders that just won't delete for whatever reason, the computer is telling you it can't find it or it's it's being used by something else. This is a definitive way to delete it off the system. But like I say, also be careful. Don't go you know punish drunk happy with it and start like kind of you know del deleting random things because you, you you could get yourself in a bit of bother if you delete something silly but i mean things on the desktop you can't really delete anything on the desktop that in fact so there's nothing on the desktop that you could delete that cause you any problems obviously but if you went to system 32 and started randomly deleting things you're gonna break your computer um but yeah so i mean this is just this is um, a way to delete something which is a problem. Don't use it to delete everything, because um, if you start trying to delete everything with it, um, you might start causing some instabilities in the system. It's just best to use it as, as a last resort. So, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I've had this problem on a Windows 7, on this machine itself, I had a folder that it was sat here for about four or five days before I worked out a way to get rid of it. Um, and it just wouldn't get, it just wouldn't delete. I had one on my um, XP machine as well. And that wouldn't delete. Um, and I think I used it. I can't remember what the method I used. But that was quite a while back. It was over a year ago that I had that problem. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the way to do it. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if this is your first time view, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and let me know if there's anything else you want me to, uh, to see me do. Um, if you've had any issues or 
you know, something out there that you you thought, oh, I wouldn't mind seeing how you can do that. Um, let me know in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so thank you for watching and goodbye.